Does it, does it kind of feel a little bit more like August instead of September? Oh yeah, definitely, September? definitely. You know, just trying to clean up the little things, uh, some minor details that uh, I still need to work on. What, what, what else came out of Saturday's game that you think is really important for the team? You know, overall to, to you know, take as they go forward to Pac-12 season. Uh, well, I think just getting in the rhythm, offensively and defensively. You know, and uh, just getting our fundamentals right, and getting back to what we do and the way that we know how to play football. Is that the first time you think this year that you felt some rhythm? Oh yeah, definitely. I think the offense got rolling early. I think the defense did a great job um, until they gave up the touchdown. You know, but um, I think they played well all game, and um, I think we got into a pretty good rhythm. From last year, what is Stanford's defense to, other than line up and try to outmuscle you up front? Uh, I think they play a little, play a little bit more zone. You know, last year I think they played a lot more man coverage, and uh, I'm not sure why they do it, but uh, I've seen a lot more zone on uh, on film. Did you go home and watch their game then, right after your game on Saturday? <laughs> I, watched, I got to it on Sunday. Okay. So, um, but they're a real good football team, and um, man. It's going to be a tough challenge. Does, I mean, does it look like the same Stanford team you guys have played the last few years, or is there much different about the, about them? Oh, uh, they're still physical. You know, they're just, they're just as good as they were last year. You know, obviously losing losing uh, Andrew Luck, you know, that's a big uh, a big loss. And, but uh, they're still going to be tough. Is there any other Pac-12 team that plays zone a lot that you equate to what Stanford might be doing? Uh, there are a lot of teams that play zone. You know. Um, Stanford had a lot of good athletes last year, so that, that allowed them to, to do it. And then their pass rush, you know, they had a tremendous pass rush, and they still do have a good pass rush. So we just got to focus in on, you know, their key players and um, just make plays. What's important for you when you face a zone heavy defense like that? Uh, go through your reads, man, you know, and uh, you have to be patient. You know, sometimes the first window is not going to be there. You just got to be patient and wait for, for the next window to open up. and. Uh, Stick to your rules, you know. They try to disguise coverages, and you know I just got to stick to my rules and make sure that I'm disciplined. Was any of that? I know you had the one interception against them last year. Was that? I mean, was any of what you just said a factor in that play last year? Well, that that play was actually was a man coverage, you know, and uh, I got away from my rules. You know, I was supposed to see in front of the route that I was throwing, and I didn't see the guy, and you know just predetermine my throw instead of going through my reads, and that's what I mean by being disciplined with my reads. Coach has asked for a, a blackout for the game, for the fans. Yeah, I know he asked for it uh, against UCLA a couple years ago. Is that, is that something that gets you fired up? Is that something that, that uh, excites you? Oh, yeah, it's definitely fun, you know, switching up the uni uniforms and uh, jersey combinations, and I know that our team gets excited for it, so I mean, hopefully we'll be out there looking sweet. All that's gone on here this first month, even training camp, do you guys see how big an opportunity this is? Hey, you could be right back to where you could have been. In the oh, yeah. Time. You know, we just got done with our preseason. Now it's time to really strap on the pads and get going. You know, we had some good challenges, man. And, um, you know, we just got to get going. You know, we got a good team coming in. Our next <laughs> nine games or so, you know, are going to be tough. So we just got to keep on playing the way that we played uh, last week. Even though it's a bye week, is it kind of like a game week mentality? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, it's kind of hard because you know that you're not playing, you know, but we still try to attack practice the same.